So in Cubase Artist and Pro, you have the Stereo Delay plugin. It's a very simple plugin, but unfortunately does not come with Cubase Elements, A, I, or L, E. So here is a quick alternative that works in exactly the same way as the Cubase Stereo Delay. It's just slight differences, so I'm just gonna take you through those, but this is gonna be a super basic look at it. So first of all, to get the plugin, you need to go to HY Plugins, that's hy-plugins.com, and find the HY Delay 4. Now, at first you'll see the paid for version, which is the sort of more complicated uh, version of the delay, but you can get a free version if you just scroll down and click on download here. Don't click on download up there, it takes you to a different page, but if you click on download here, then you get the free version installer. So just download this for the Windows and it's all versions, so 32-bit, 64-bit, and then Mac underneath. So we'll just download that quickly. And once it's down, just click on it to open it. Usually the setup folder is absolutely fine, but we just need to, or well, we're not actually gonna be installing the 32-bit, so it doesn't matter, so we're just gonna click next. So we just click through, and then we just wanna untick all of the versions apart from the 64-bit VST3 plugin. Click next, install, and there we go, it's all done. So we just load up Cubase. Okay, so we're back in our drum and bass track. And I'm just gonna add a delay to this lead. So I'm just gonna solo them. Bring up the channel settings. And because it was a VST3 installed, it will actually probably go under the relative heading for it. So this is delay. So we go under delay and then find HY delay four. And this is it. So it looks slightly more complicated than the Cubase delay, which I'll just bring up just so you can actually see the difference. So this is the Cubase stereo delay plugin, and this is the free one by HY. So first off to get a stereo delay, so one delay comes out of the left side and then the right side at different times. You need to first unlink the two sides. So you've got the uh, time on the left, time on the right, and then click the metronome for both. This means that it's going to tempo sync it. So we can set this to as a classic sort of one is, let's go one eight on one side and then one eight D on the other and have a listen. Probably a little bit fast for this particular track, so let's just stick that on 1.4 and 1.4D. So that is how you set the different sides of the delay. So just make sure you've done those three things first, unlink them and click the metronome, then we can tempo sync the delays. Then really it's very simple. You've just got our feedback control, so we can change the amount of time that the delay feeds back for. Or we can have very long delays. And then of course you've got the all important mix knob down here. So we can change the mix of the delays so they're not too overpowering. Now I actually very rarely use it in the Cubase delay itself, but you can also use the high pass and low pass filters to sort of basically affect the delays. As the delays go over time, they'll be more and more filtered. There we go, there are other settings of course, you've got the amp, the overall pan of the plugin and EQ settings, which you can use to tweak the EQ. Uh, but of Usually I'll just use the sort of filter settings here. So there we go, it's a nice free alternative to the Steinberg stereo delay. So I hope that was helpful for you. Thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe if you loved it, and I'll see you guys and girls in the next one. Thank you very much for watching.